Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next Monday Night Tip Off um, video series. And today's tip is going to be something a little bit lighter, a little bit more fun in terms of the tips that I've been doing. Um, today's tip, um, since I'm such an avid stamper, that I wanted to share a couple tips and some suggestions on the different types of stampers that there are out there and um, how to pick the best one in terms of how your the shape, length, and um, width of your nail bed. So like I said, there are so many different types of stampers out there, like every brand, most brands that have a plate, have a stamping plate, have a um, stamper to use with their plates. Now, um, like most, most of you who've been following me know that um, I started out with Conat and Conat has a few different types of stampers. Um, I don't have the original one that they that I had. It's the original one is very much like this one, except it doesn't have this built-in scraper. So it was just a barrel like this, and the same color ends, the same um, um, pressure or the same stiffness in terms of their stampers. Um, again, I reason why I picked this one up was because um, it was before I discovered some of the other brands and I like the fact that it had the scraper built into the stamper so it was less things that I had to worry about kind of picking up, putting down like with the scraper you scrape, put it down, pick up your stamper and then stamp especially depending upon which image you're trying to pick up because thinner lines dry quicker so you have to move much quicker but and then I also like that this had a nice little stand so that your stamper isn't like rolling all over the place on your table and you have to locate it especially again if you're trying to move quickly depending upon the polish you're using and how thin the lines are within the design so I quickly discovered that um, this was not the best stamper for me just because like I said it is very very stiff and it has hardly any give and my nail bed is very very curved so as you can see hopefully I'm missing a lot of nail bed trying to press down I'm pressing really really firmly and it is not covering and touching um, a good portion of my nail so problem nobody wants to have well depending upon how you're trying to do this, the design if you're doing a full nail image full image yeah full nail image then you want it to go from side to side top to bottom that was highly it's impossible to do that trying to press down which gives you better alignment now you can achieve that rolling it but again even rolling Toward the end of my nail, it kind of really doesn't touch. I don't like doing, I've tried doing the double stamping technique where you, especially when the image isn't long enough, where you try to line it up perfectly at the end. It doesn't always come out nice. It looks messy. Sometimes it overlaps and again, looks messy. So I then discovered Chaz Delaney um, stamping plates and her stamper. And I love that one so much better because as you can see, it has a lot more give than the Conan stampers. And this is not the original casing that the Chaz Delaney stamper came in. It came in one that is really like all pink. Um, it's thin where you hold it. It is was double ended and the bottom end was much larger than this but also very very squishy. Squishier than this end. And then it was just like a round barrel, very much like um, the, I think it's the DRK stamper that looks exactly like the Chaz Delaney one. Um, I don't, I still need to try that one out, um, but um, I'm not sure if it's as squishy, it's the same squishiness or if it's squishier. But um, I put it in this casing because it kept falling out of the other one because it had nothing in there. This one has a little bit better gripping so it doesn't really fa it doesn't fall out of this one when I'm using it. Um, but again, while it is squishier, 
I can get it, but I do have to press a little firmly. The problem with pressing firmly on it with your image is that it can smush the image, smush it, smear it, mess it up. So I was still finding that sometimes I still needed to roll, which I don't have a problem with rolling, but sometimes when I'm trying to get it lined up just right for a certain image, um, it is much easier to get it lined up perfectly by pressing. Um, I have wider nail beds, so I generally would have to roll. Problem with that is when you're rolling, the image can get skewed a little bit, so where you want what piece you want in the center may not always be aligned perfectly in the center as it would just by pressing downward like that so I then um, I was sent my friend sent me she sent me a few different stampers that I have fallen in love with and are now like my tried and true ride or die go to must have stampers um, and I've tried some um, this one here I have another one that is in the same type of casing but the stamper surface is actually green like a past like a pastel green and it's all a rectangular this one as you can see has kind of like a, um, a rounded inset which I don't know why they just didn't make it the full rectangular size but this one is even more squishy than the oops, wrong one. Then the Chaz Delaney stamper. Now this one I didn't think would be big enough, but this one actually is amazing. I don't know if this is from Dashika or not. Again, my friends in this team, I can't remember. Oh, store envy, dag nabbit. I was just did a periscope of this same tip off. And I couldn't remember one of the other like online retailers that a lot of indie nail polish brands um, sell their stuff and it's store envy. Oh, I'm so mad. But anyway, so this one is extremely squishy and well, not extremely, but very, very squishy. And one of the main reasons why I fell in love with this one is because it self stretches the image, meaning um, because my middle finger and my thumbs are so wide the problem I have with a lot of images is that just weren't wide enough and I just I'm just not one to try the stretching where you have to take the stamper out get it to stretch wide enough and long enough I mean to me especially when you're move, trying to move quickly you can totally take too much time trying to get it lined up and I occasionally have problems with my hands so I just and then also my left hand is my non-dominant hand is weaker than my right so trying to get my right stamped fine oh just drove me crazy trying to do the stretching technique with the other stampers but this it stretches the image for you across your your wider nails like you just have to line up the edge and as you're pressing it stretches the image now the only thing if you're a perfectionist you might not like is that the image may not be centered how you want it if you're doing the rolling type of stretch um but i personally for my own nails am not i'm not bothered by that unless it like stretches it really really badly but um i'm more concerned with the image going from side to side top to bottom um but you can do it this way and it will stretch it somewhat not as much as it stretches it when you do the rolling method but it will kind of stretch it this way um if the image is already wide enough will be perfect in terms of getting the best alignment and having it match all the other nails and not be kind of skewed a little bit especially depending upon the image like if there's something that's directly in the center that you want in the center then the rolling stretch method may not be the best but again it's all about personal preference um, and kind of working with it so squishy is great now um, the next ones so I've got like what three more stampers that I want to discuss this next one and I don't have all of the stampers that I, I'm going to mention in front of me just because I gave some away like the CC and CC stampers which is really squishy it's just too small for my use so I gave them away 
um, but the creative stamper creative nail stamper this one is really really great for those who have curved really long and really wide nail beds especially those who are wearing nail enhancements like acrylics or you know gels or something like that um, this is really perfect this is like like the biggest stamper that I've seen in terms of the round ones Conad did come out with a really long rectangular one but it was crap it was again hard and curved stupidest idea ever the thought was right if it had been squishy it had been perfect but it was a total fail um so anyway this one works really great again it's not it's squishy but not like a marshmallow texture squishy it's squishy enough to where even if you have curved nails you can get it to press and hug most of the sides of your nails you still may need to roll it maybe not depending upon how curved your nail bed is but this one again if you are used to rocking your nails long this will give you the best um in terms of getting your base to tip covered um if you have a really long image without having to try to double stamp and align it with the double stamping so this one is very nice i didn't even have to prime this one at all i used it immediately i just kind of cleaned it off and used it immediately no problems whatsoever um a really great stamper again my only issue is it's not as squishy as i would like i do like the fact that also it's clear meaning when you're stamping with white if you're someone is that stamps with white a lot you will always be able to clearly see your image whereas when you're using a stamper with a white a white stamper and you're stamping with white polish it can be kind of hard to see and line up the image um, precisely because it's going to blend in with the stamper but um, this one, I really like that she thought about that so that you could see any color you're stamping with. It does not fall out of this tube at all. I've never had my thing come out while I was stamping, which is an issue that I have with most of my other stampers sometimes, especially um, especially my um, try to my ride or die. That one is very sticky. So it does kind of sometimes stick and come out, but I still love it and will still continue to use it. This one I think is probably one of the kind of best designed in terms of um, size, um, very easy to hold, very simple design, different from all the others. So you can clearly find it amongst all your other ones. So extremely pleased. Just one second ran over the little time mark in terms of uploading so really love um, this the creative one will work well again curved nails or flat nails what I must say about if you have flat nail beds any stamper will work for flat nail beds because you don't have to worry about any type of curvature and getting it to hug get the sides of your nails because they're flat so if you have flat nails you're golden you can pick any stamper you just have to worry about the surface the size of the stamper now the last two again most of these are using the all the same casing this one i think was this one's my ride or die this one's one that i use that i recently got in a the young nails caption nail screens kit and this one is not very not as squishy as I had hoped it's very similar to the Chaz Delaney slightly squishier but not a whole lot squishier um, about the same size as most other ones um, which is odd because of the size of the image plates for the caption nail screens like if you can see how big the images are it's not going to pick up the entire one now the creative nail stamper will pick up the entire image but you would have thought that the caption stamper would have been size big enough to pick up the entire image i don't think they, they didn't think about that obviously but again it's not a not a favorite because this one is still not as not squishy enough for me 
um, I may switch out the barrel just because um, the one thing I do like is that they have this on here which will help you with alignment in terms of your image so you can always kind of make sure you get the image going the right direction and things like that but this one again you might need to press a little bit firmly which can cause it to smush and smear just because it doesn't have a lot of give and then this one is unlike many others in that the bottom is white most of the other ones don't have a white bottom and the bottom is actually a little bit squishier than the top but it also is like kind of hollow in the middle yeah hollow in the middle which I think adds to being a little bit more flexible whereas again this one is just a solid one like all the other big end stamper pieces are so again this one is okay in terms of squishiness not my personal favorite just because it's not quite squishy enough for me i still have to employ the rolling technique with the caption one as opposed to being able to just press and get it to hug my nail bed perfectly now my tried and true is this one again this one my friend sent to me um and i absolutely love this one it's my favorite i will always go back to this one because with little to no effort look at that just hugs hugs it gets the image from side to side top to bottom no problem i can also do it this way and get that perfect alignment and not have to worry about the sides not being um the image not making it to the sides of my nails um works great again this is one that will self stretch if you do have a wider nail bed and you need to do the rolling to get the image to spread across it again but it will have the same effect as this one where it'll be slightly skewed maybe just because it's stretching it so it may not be perfectly centered what you have to do is kind of undercompensate like um, line it up a little bit less like so it's not I generally line up the image perfectly on the edge and then roll but if you're trying to get a certain piece in the middle you got to kind of come up and put the edge more off of the nail so that when you roll it and it kind of stretches the center part will get to the actual center of your nail so that's just a little tip to think about so um, again very very squishy compared to every other stamper um, again my favorite these are very very close but this one is still squishier um, and again I would say I like these um, casings the best because I can easily set them down um, and they won't roll over fall over and roll all over the place now with this it fits perfectly in the Conad stamper holder so that's generally what I do for this one is place it in here just to keep it from rolling and getting dust build up on the top of it because it is very very sticky so <clears throat> um also if you have small nail beds but you still desire one that's squishy and you can't find some of these other ones um cc and cc has a really good one that's very it's the squishiness i say is very much like this one it will stretch the image it's a round one um it came in the kit that i got i don't know if they buy it, if you can order it individually you probably can but again i haven't purchased any cc and cc plates and haven't looked at their site to see what they currently have um but it comes in a set so you get a holder with I think seven five to seven plates in it um, and you get the stamper um, and the stamper yeah and then it has some stickers in the back but it is a nice squishy one it has a gray stamper head at least the ones that I purchased I don't have them to show you because I gave them away because it was just too small for my nails I generally wear my nails much longer than this I cut them down like once or twice a year so I just recently cut them down I want to say maybe two months ago maybe maybe a month 
and I cut them down like really short where there was hardly any free edge but um, so you're in luck if you have flat nail beds because any of these stampers will work for you only thing that may prevent some of them from working is if you have short but wide nail beds because um, some of them just may not be wide enough um, or the you might need to stretch the image to fit the width from edge to edge so that's where a squishy squishier stamper will come into play if you have wide nail beds and the images on the place you have just are not wide enough to fit from edge to edge but if you have small nail beds short nails you can choose any of these stamper options if you have really curved really long nail beds I would highly recommend um, now this rectangular one actually does work very well in terms of length um, as you can see there's still a little bit more edge left that you could use now if you have extremely long nails this one won't work this one will kind of work um, again you will be able to stretch it because you can stretch it from top to bottom as well as from side to side this one you can also stretch it a little bit from top to bottom um, uh, as well but the best one if you have really long nails but not as quite as curved nails would be the creative stamper because this one has a really really large stamping um, just a really large surface I mean you can pick up pretty much any image and get the best results in terms of if you have really long nails now um, again it's not as squishy as the marshmallow stamper but it is pretty squishy a decent squish so sorry the Sun keeps coming in and out but um so those are my tips in terms of how to pick the right stamper based upon the width length and curvature of your nails or lack of curvature so um, leave any questions or comments down below unfortunately um, I can't provide like links to where all of these stampers were purchased from because again some of them I did not many of them I did not purchase myself now the Conat ones are easy to find you can find those on Amazon with no problem Chaz Delaney I believe you have to purchase directly from her as well as the Sheikah beauty shop ones but her rectangular one with the green stamper I didn't like that one at all because the surface was just like the Conat one maybe slightly softer than this one but still very very stiff while I like the actual um, shape of it and the the size of it it was just not squishy so I can't use it um, it's somewhere I think and then um, again the caption one this one is only available if you purchase um, if you have a license you can only get this one at salon centric um, so if anybody's interested just let me know and I can make a trip and pick up one for you but again that one's not as squishy the best ones and I feel really bad not being able to provide links to all of these especially the marshmallow one I do believe I she said she got this off of store envy and then one of them was off of eBay I think this one was from someone on store envy and then this one was she bought this a bunch of replacement heads off of eBay someone off of eBay so sorry I can't provide link links um, I know there are a bunch of other ones like Messy Mansion. I have not tried any of her stampers. I have heard that they are, um, a girl commented in my Periscope video that they are stiff, but they stamp really well. So if you have flat nails, you could use that brand um, as well. They do have different color stampers, um, as an assortment of colors, but I really don't care what color my stamper surface is. Um, I do kind of wish they would like I do really like that she made this clear so you can easily see white but other than that I mean once you've been stamping for a while you can kind of start seeing the image kind of stand out a little bit better it just takes a little bit of practice but 
so those are my tips and techniques in terms of um, which ones which type of stamper works best based upon how curved your nail beds are um, how you can you know easily get it to stretch from side to side top to bottom of your nail by choosing a squishier stamper and again for those lucky ones who have flat nail beds you can use any stamper you want and be able to press down and have no problem so sorry this one is kind of long but I wanted to make sure I covered as much as I could remember show you some different things and um, so leave your questions or comments down below um, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already also check me out on Periscope I'm using my Twitter handle Lorraine Drace for my Periscope I'll try to remember the tweets out when I'm about to about to record because in their functionality like it's hard to share like I literally have to have my recording device and then my other device to be um, tweet out that to, the link and to share it with my followers and I gotta remember to put my headphones into the other device but anyway follow me on on periscope and um again thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them down below stay polished at all times and have a fabulous day bye also the periscope video will be up for 24 hours so if you still wanted to see it you can check it out tomorrow as well because there might be a couple little difference in what i said on there and in, in terms of here hopefully not too many bye